Hello everyone, welcome back to another video by Dutch Paper Girl. Today I'm going to show you a Lucky Cat Automaton. I thought it would be an easy pastime, but oh boy, how I got it wrong. This one is pretty difficult. But hey, who can resist that pretty smile? It took me some time to figure out what was what, so I thought it would be wise to show you the four prints and mention the part. First I will show you how to make the internal holder for the moving arm. It is made out of three parts. I will show the flat parts and the folded parts. Just follow the green arrow. Here I clued part 2 to part 3. Then I clued that on top of part 1. I ran into a little problem when I wanted to finish the holder. It wasn't perpendicular to the bottom, so I had to cut it at the two black lines marked out by the arrows you can see. The holder is ready. That should put a smile on your face. After this warming up, you are ready for the most challenging part. The moving left leg. Here you can see all the parts needed in one photo. You see the back of the leg, ending in the paws, and the two sides attached to it. On the inside is the stabilizer. I started with these two parts, the inside and the back of the left leg. After that I added the outside. Don't forget to add the stabilizer. Insert the wooden stick into the leg as shown. It's time to close the left leg. Now your leg should look like this. Hope you're still with me. Please do not turn your back on me. The hardest part is over. Face time. First fold the biggest part of the head. It looks like a helmet. Now fold the eyes and the mouth part and glue them together. Now you can finish the head. And glue the ears on. Of course. Bodybuilding. Look for the parts needed and glue them together. I will show you. Hind right leg and right side. The belly and the right front leg. The left side of the body. Glue the three parts just made together and make the front of the body. Add the base plate, pulls down. Insert the left leg into the holder and check if it rotates freely. Cut off the excess wood and place the holder into the body. Then fit the moving leg into it. Align the hole of the outside with the hole of the holder. Fix the wooden stick with the disc at the end. To keep the leg moving, you need to glue the holder of the pendulum weight onto the wooden skewer. Notice the arm is up and the pendulum down. Use a coin to add weight. Now glue the back of the body and close the cat up. Time to be proud! Have fun! Bye!